Keeping your army stocked with the greatest warriors is essential for any invasion of a foreign nation, and it is the key to winning any war. So in this guide, I will be giving you some of the best methods to farm followers in Shadow of War. But before that, you should probably subscribe and join the Discord. That way you can interact with me and other people in the community, as well as stay up to date on any future videos or guides. Without further ado, let's get some slaves. I mean, valued employees. Captains and potential followers can be found throughout the world either patrolling the region, feasting in outposts, guarding fortresses, or camping out in the wilderness. You are likely to be ambushed by captains during your travels as well. So, this is the first method. You simply go throughout the region and dominate all of the captains currently deployed to it. This includes nemesis missions, outpost raids, and war chief assaults. All of these provide great opportunities to find strong followers, or kill them for gear and free up a slot in the army hierarchy for a potential new follower. This is a great way to get orcs, as these invasions will trigger a battle between the region's current captains and the slaughter or outlaw tribe invaders. Similar to a warchief riot when you command an allied warchief to attack an enemy warchief. This will allow you to get over 8 potential followers all at once, making it one of the fastest and most efficient ways to either get orcs fast, or get some more gear and free up a lot of slots. You can also get orcs from chests given to you through the Blade of Gladiol DLC. These are accessed after completing the DLC and will be available in the garrison when playing the main game. It grants some of the coolest looking orcs in the game. Finally, we have the fortress defenses and online ranked fortress sieges. These are by far the best way to get some of the strongest followers in the game. Let's start with fortress defenses. These are available after completing the game and will trigger an attack that will bring more than 12 orcs including warchief assault leaders and their bodyguards. It's important to have proper defenses for your fortress so that your forces are not overwhelmed and the fortress is captured. Should this happen though, don't worry, since any orcs killed will be replaced by other enemy orcs once the fortress is captured. Now then. If you want the strongest followers in the game, I highly recommend Online Fortress Sieges. These will give you the chance to even get cheated orcs, which are pretty much immortal against other orcs. Note that these fortresses require you to be very skilled and have the right gear. Otherwise, you would just die to either cheat orc or a player's optimally defended fortress. You should also take note that you will need to have a high rank to get stronger fortress assaults, which will house stronger orcs to acquire. Online is the best way to farm orcs since they are player owned. This means that every orc, with the exception of cheat orcs, are guaranteed to not have iron will, so they can all be dominated and recruited into your army. And since these orcs are especially catered for fortress defenses and sieges, you can be sure they will be very strong. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is every method you can use to farm orcs fast and easy in Shadow of War. Not to mention, you will probably create some unique stories and encounters with a few of Mordor's most dangerous and quirky characters. This is the last guide I plan to make for the game though, and I really appreciate the support and feedback I have received thus far. We're already at 670 subscribers, and I hope we can get to 1000 by the end of the year. The next game I plan to cover is Project Zomboid, starting with a beginner's guide to the first 7 days. But I also plan on covering some of the more unique aspects of the game, since it's quite detailed. I will soon have a poll to decide what games come after that, so stay tuned. And I once again encourage you to subscribe and, and join the discord so that the channel and community keep growing. Have a good one, and bye.